Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, October 20th. Today's Gospel reading for the Daily Mass comes to us from the 12th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. A mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother. A mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. We know that these divisions that Christ talks about in today's passage exist because of our lived experiences. Fathers have been divided against their sons because of faith. Mothers have been divided against their daughters because of faith. Friends have been divided against one-time friends because of faith. And these divisions exist for lots of different reasons. Most Most importantly, these divisions exist because of personal sinfulness. None of us live up to the full measure of the perfection that is asked of us by Christ. And we're constantly asking for forgiveness in order to grow and to become more like Christ. But also these divisions exist because faith has consequences. And some people walk away from faith because of the consequences. And some people become more faithful, more demanding more desirous of a faithful life. And again, there's many other reasons that exist that cause these divisions to exist. But for our discussion today, I think what's most important is is that how do we overcome the divisions? We know they exist. We know they exist for many reasons. But what's the cure? Well, part of the cure is making sure that each of us take our faith seriously and grow in our faith so that the truth of Jesus Christ can help us to love, support, and also appropriately challenge others. Because the divisions that do exist can only be overcome from dialogue, from faithful conversation, and also sometimes allowing people to ask hard questions so that they can come to the truth of faith. Or see maybe where they are erring. Or maybe sometimes for us who are speaking, to speak more compassionately. To speak in a different way so people can hear the message of Christ. Whatever it may be, it takes personal commitment in our own faith in order to overcome divisions. And I know that for many of us, we even are afraid to have these conversations about faith. Because we know that it can be so polarizing, so hard to have conversations about faith, especially some of the implications of faith. But again, by us growing in personal holiness, we can approach these conversations with much more confidence and much more zeal so that God's grace can start to bring about a healing. That God's grace can allow us to not be divided, but to be one as Christ wanted right before his crucifixion. And this is where love becomes really important. Love, as we defined before in the daily reflection, is the willing the good of the other, putting the needs of the other before ourselves. So in order to overcome division sometimes, we don't worry about having to be right but we worry more about, have we been heard? Have people known our love for them? Do they know the love that God has for them? So really living a life of love and compassion is part of the key as well. Knowing the truth and sharing the truth in love so people can come back to faith or hear faith for the first time Or in some cases, finally making connections that help them to transform their lives. 
So the divisions that exist among us because of sinfulness, because of misunderstanding, whatever it is, they are sad. But our hope comes from the fact that these divisions can be healed. So if we commit to the truth, we commit growing in holiness, we commit to loving others, we can eventually overcome these divisions so that the kingdom of God can be more fully intact here on earth as we wait for the fullness of kingdom and eternal life. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.